You likely already sense that life is eternal and that this lifetime is just one among many. Before reincarnating, our souls typically make certain decisions about what this lifetime will involve with the guidance of supporting beings. Here are seven things you likely agreed to before birth and why these choices might have been made. One, the decision to be here. Before you were born, you agreed to take on a new lifetime filled with learning and experience. Your presence on Earth is no accident. You chose to incarnate here, among other third density planets in the universe. Your soul understood the challenges of human life and willingly accepted them. Thus, it's clear that before your birth, you agreed to be a human, whether for the first time or as a return visit. Two, experiencing both the positive and negative. Earth is rich in duality, offering a broad spectrum of experiences from beauty to devastation, love to fear and peace to war. This diversity is highly appealing to our souls because it provides a vast range of learning and spiritual growth opportunities. While higher densities of existence are more harmonious and free from the hardships of earthly life, they also offer fewer catalysts for learning, especially negative experiences like conflict or sadness. Your soul was drawn to the rich variety of experiences on Earth, viewing them as opportunities for growth and ascension. Although these challenges may seem harsh from a human perspective, to the soul, they are invaluable for spiritual progression. 3. Your relationships with family and friends. You likely agreed to the key relationships in your life, including family and close friends. Some souls are familiar to you, while others are not. The sense of familiarity with certain individuals often indicates that you've incarnated with them before and your soul remembers them. For instance, you may have chosen a soul group member to be your sister in this lifetime, while they may have been your father in a previous one. Switching roles is useful for learning and growth. It's also possible that you agreed to meet your twin flame or soulmate in this lifetime, sharing high vibrational love energy in this earthly realm. Even those who challenge or hurt us may be souls with whom we have made agreements, though they might not be part of our soul group. These challenging relationships provide tough lessons that our souls wanted to experience for growth. While these situations may seem unfair from a human perspective, they offer crucial opportunities for healing and spiritual advancement. Your life achievements Hmm, before birth, you likely set goals or a life plan that you wanted to achieve during your lifetime. These goals could range from helping others, protecting the earth, becoming a healer, experiencing parenthood, raising the collective vibration, or even seemingly minor achievements like learning to ride a bike. On the more challenging side, your soul may have also set goals to overcome difficulties such as surviving a war, enduring emotional abuse, or experiencing mental illness. Each of these achievements is significant from the soul's perspective. You might wonder about those with extremely negative traits, such as a desire for control, power or violence. The soul may set certain conditions in life to develop these characteristics, observing whether one will follow a negative path or choose healing and positivity. Regardless of the challenges you likely agreed before birth to pursue many achievements, as without these goals, life could lack direction and purpose. growth and ascension. All of your experiences contribute to your soul's evolution, moving you closer to your higher self over many lifetimes. You likely agreed to and understood that you would grow and ascend on earth due to the myriad of experiences, emotions and interactions with other souls here. Earth is home to souls from across the universe, each offering new reflections to help you learn more about yourself. While you may not always follow your life path perfectly, there is likely an optimal path that leads to transformation, prosperity and joy. By embracing creation, trusting your intuition and focusing on self-development and healing, you can accelerate your ascension as your soul intended. Healing Karma Karma is a concern for many, but there's no need to worry. Your soul has a plan and you agreed to learn the lessons that karma brings before you were born. Karma is healed by recognizing recurring themes and difficulties in your life, understanding their origins which may stem from past lives and learning the lessons they teach. 
This includes overcoming challenges, healing wounds, and approaching situations differently to break negative patterns. Forgiveness plays a crucial role in healing karma. By understanding the reasons behind actions, both yours and others, and forgiving them, you can resolve karma. Remember, understanding leads to forgiveness, which in turn heals karma. For instance, if someone is abusive, reflecting on what in their life caused them such pain may help you find compassion and forgiveness. The number of lifetimes on Earth. Before you were born, you may have chosen how many lifetimes you'd spend on Earth. Some souls opt for just one, finding Earth too intense, while others stay for multiple lifetimes, enduring challenges and working toward healing and ascension. You might have chosen a relatively comfortable life on Earth, especially if your home planet or dimension was peaceful and loving. But if your soul sought a challenge, you may have chosen several difficult lives, aiming to overcome adversity and contribute to humanity's healing until Earth reaches a higher vibration. Living on Earth is a unique opportunity and the universe watches our collective actions with great interest. You may have an intuitive sense of what you agreed to before birth, guiding you on your spiritual journey. Whatever the agreement, you wouldn't have made it if you didn't believe you could handle the challenges ahead. If you resonate with this type of content, please make sure to share your experiences in the comments below so we can all learn a little bit deeper about the human experience of being born. Also, your support means the world to this channel. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next video. In the next...